God has not given us the spirit of fear. Instead, He has given us the spirit of love, courage, power, and a sound mind. Brothers and sisters, somewhere here was the upper room. Somewhere here was the place where the apostles gathered to receive the power of the Holy Spirit. You know, before this day, before Pentecost, they were afraid. They, they were, yes, cowards. They didn't, they didn't, they, they, they were in hiding. But you know what happened? When the Holy Spirit came to their lives, they began to be full men and women, filled with courage, and they did what God wanted them to do. They preached, and on this day, 3,000 people came. So somewhere in this place, we don't have a church, we don't have this was even a mosque here, or was a mosque before. And, uh, but somewhere here, the Holy Spirit came and descended upon these men who were following Jesus. I'm sharing this to you because I believe somewhere, somehow, maybe within you, you've been hearing the voice of God and you've been hearing God telling you to, to do something. And, and you're afraid. Some of you may be afraid. You know, should I really do this? Is this really what you want me to do? And you're afraid because it's so uncertain. Brothers and sisters, I want you to pray for the same power that fell upon the apostles here in this place, the same power, the same Holy Spirit, descend upon you today in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, come and bless you and empower you today and give you the courage to do what is right in Jesus' name. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, come give us courage. Replace our fear with determination that no matter what happens, Lord, we will follow you and do what you want us to do. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. You know, sometimes Christians are known to be, you know, very timid, uh, very shy. You know, some Christians are supposed to be smiling always and, and uh, you know, bowing to everyone. Well, sometimes we're to do that. But I think many times we're supposed to be tough, gutsy, daring, committed, pursuing the dreams that God has planted in our life by the power of the Holy Spirit. This is Bo Sanchez here in Preacher in Blue Jeans, here in the Upper Room, here in Israel, nourishing your soul every day. I will see you tomorrow. so much for your monthly tithes and love offering to the Rigma family, without which this broadcast won't be possible. We know that God will reward you abundantly for your generosity. God bless you.